Good evening and welcome to the Job Search Solution, the radio program where we talk about looking for a job, changing jobs, changing careers, hiring. And as always, we begin with a prayer. Dear God, grant us thy peace and thy mercy. Thy will be done. And in just a few minutes, Rich Levinsky is going to be with us talking about consultants in the workplace. He's got a great topic this evening, as he always does from in the trenches. He's only been doing it since 19, I think, 88. Um, so he really knows his stuff. He's got a great topic this evening. Lately, we've begun, we've begun every evening with a uh, 10 or 15 seconds of gratitude. It's hard to be difficult. It's hard to be unhappy when you're grateful. So go. Think of three things that you're grateful for this evening. Go. Just grateful for being here. <laughs> Just grateful. I wanted to mention this evening a situation that came up this week that um, I had to mention because it's happening to a lot of people especially in my generation, the boomer generation. And this came to uh, came to light with a friend of mine that's been a candidate and a client of mine. Uh, he's hired people from us over the years by the name of Randall. And Randall has been um, up and down the scale of um, software and high tech for 25 years. And he's seen the ups and downs of it but he's never realized how difficult it is. And technology has changed. Software has changed. Hardware is gone practically. And things have really changed. And he's been the CEO of a couple of different firms. And he's been looking for a CEO type of position for a year. And he called to just touch bases with me and he his concern was is it me what's wrong with me what's wrong with me why can't I get a job I applied to all these positions and I don't get interviews and when I get interviews I don't seem to get very far what am I doing wrong what's wrong with me I must be doing something wrong. Well, I tried to explain to Randall that there's nothing wrong, that he has no idea how competitive the market is for what he's looking for. Uh, I ran an ad for a CEO uh, for a medium, small size firm that we were confidentially looking for uh, to replace a CEO for. And in one day, in one day, I got 575 resumes. One day. I took the ad down from LinkedIn after one day because I had so many candidates. Um, off the ad, I had around 300 candidates that I already had found that I'd worked with before that I had plenty of candidates. So that rounded out just in raw numbers, 800 candidates out. Obviously, all 800 people were not necessarily qualified, but there are hordes of them. Technology has changed. The cloud has come along. Well, those of you in technology know what's changed. And it's not that you haven't changed. You change too. But the need for that kind of thing has changed a lot. And it's not that you're not a good leader. And it's not that you're not a good person. It's not that you don't know what you're doing. It's just that things change. And when you don't roll with the punches and find where the changes have been made, we're going more, for instance, more to more of a service kind of orientation in the high-tech arena than we are a product orientation. It used to be that I my this is my guesstimate that 25% of the 
technology um, business was was in services, and now it's close to 50 or 60 percent, maybe even 70. It's mostly services, services oriented. And if you were coming out of the product arena, you are at a disadvantage if you're interviewing for things like that. But when an organization runs an ad for a position, you know that they already have a number of people that they can count on to interview for the job that they've worked with or that they know, let alone four or 500 candidates that apply to the job, they've got more than they can say grace over. In other words, it has nothing to do with Randy's, Randall's ability or Randall's capability or his skill or anything like that. It's hard to tell how much skill Randall has when 500 candidates are applying for a job, there's no way. You get most of positions like that from people you know or people you've worked with before. So take heart, it isn't you. Now, the market is crowded, there's no doubt about that. It's never going to get like it was um, back in the 60s and the 90s, no, it's not 60s, but the, the 80s, 90s, um, uh, and even uh, first early 2000s, it was a lot different. Markets always change. It isn't necessarily you. You can change with those markets. You can be around them differently. You can change the skills, the kind of business you should go into. I know a lot of guys guys and gals that have changed the business they've gone into totally. And you've gotten out of high tech and into other things. But just be mindful that with 500 resumes, <laughs> the, that it's very hard to find the being a leader and finding a chance of being interviewed and being qualified for the job. All right, we're going to take a short break. Stay tuned. This is Tony Bashir with the Job Search Solution. <laughs> 